for today's uh, much anticipated site visit uh, to Nkantla? Well, it was quite an eye opener to come to the private residence of the president, and it basically confirms the findings of the previous error committee that we have seen the gross inflation of prices. What I've seen there today is not worth the 200 plus million rand that is claimed to be spent. And the people responsible for that must be held accountable. It's in line with the findings of the SIU report that disciplinary and other actions, as well as criminal prosecutions, must be pursued against the individuals, the contractors, and any official of public works that is there. In fact, when we entered the president's office that is in the so-called visitor center, it was actually a very modest place. My constituency office is four times bigger than the space that we have been exposed to. What is also quite shocking is to see how, we, at the time when the controversy started, key elements of the project was not completed. And I can arrive at the conclusion to say that the president is not secure in comfort in Nkandla, and there are serious concerns, as articulated once again by the SIU, where the security will need to pay urgent attention. Uh, was uh, the president uh, here at his home recovering after his procedure? If so, did he a uh, chance meet uh, you, yourself or any members of the committee in a courtesy call? Well, we didn't come here to meet the president. We see the president more than enough in parliament. But um, we did not enter the private, the private household of the president. And so I can't respond in terms of what you're asking me. We, we didn't meet the president. Mr. Charlik, the swimming pool or the fire pool has been described as a strategic asset. Were you given a demonstration of how it works? Well, we were given a demonstration. The relevant people were there. And what we saw in front of us is a pool. A pool is a pool. Mm -hmm. It is all what it is being utilized for. And yesterday the minister articulated that it's primarily for fighting fires that may occur here, but it's also a recreational facility. So the explanations that were given us and the demonstrations that were given in terms of the lack of pressure coming from the providers, from the municipality that is insufficient and the fire services uh, competently display to us what they meant in terms of their opinion in the Minister of Police's report. So you're satisfied that it's a fire pool that's being used for firefighting? I'm, sat I'm satisfied that it's a pool, it's a water resource that can be utilized for fighting fires amongst others, but it's also a recreational facility. Did what you see an amphitheatre? I didn't see an amphitheatre, I'm sorry. My idea of an amphitheatre is something a lot bigger in scale to what we have seen inside, but it will be up to the members of the committee and you will get their impressions as well. Uh, in terms of these different features that are being mentioned, because beauty is ultimately in the eye of the beholder. Are you aware? Were you aware, or drawn your attention drawn to needs or extra needs of 